This is part six of setting up a new song in the Salsa Rhythm Machine. Here's our song track window for Salsa number five. Now uh, this song continues on a little bit longer than our song track here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some counts to the end of the song. Uh, it goes for a couple more seconds, so I'm going to add, say, uh, 24 counts here. Okay, ready to read? create counts 795 through 818 so the last one is 794 and these are, these are the new counts it's going to create so I'm going to click yes alright it added the counts okay this uh, count is slightly off here it probably wouldn't make any difference we can recalculate it by redoing the speed here Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the song and see if it matches up here at the end. Okay, it looks like I added too many beats. So I'm going to remove these last few here. I'm going to select these. I'm going to go to delete counts. And I'm going to delete them. Delete selected counts. Yes. Okay, now they're gone. I'm going to play the song here. Make sure it ends at the right spot. Okay, that looks good. And uh, the one thing we haven't looked at yet is the reduced beats which in this song there was never uh, a shift for example when the band plays one two three four and then instead of going to five they go back to one so you can um, ignore those shifts if you want uh, that's what everybody does while they're dancing but if you want to show that to the user so they can learn how the music is changing what you would do is you would select these four counts or all the remaining counts in the song actually then you click the reduce beats button and what it does is it subtracts one each time and then when this three gets to one you click it again instead of going to zero it'll go to eight so let's click this a few more times so in that situation where the band jumps back, we would go from 1, 2, 3, 4, back to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on.